What's up, everybody? Pete Overrod, and I'm ready to break the pain for you this week. Oh, yeah. Woo! Man, talk about a week. Six podcasts in a week. Fire articles. Dr. Roto on fire. This whole podcast is just trying to get caught up with you and everything like that. So I just want to introduce myself, maybe a little bit. Of course, over 300 episodes, a lot of people already know me. But there's a lot of people that may have just be getting, you know, starting to know me. Maybe I caught a new fan. You're a new fan from a new country. Not was a month ago. I had Germany show up and show up strong. 226 in one week. And that's huge. That's that's big. So let's get ready to bring the pain for all of you. Yeah. So who am I? Well, if you haven't noticed this, I'm a karate guy. I love video games. I was raised on video games and sports. My dad was a huge sports fanatic. The only thing that actually made that trumped sports would be WWF slash WWE. So I'm a wrestling guy. So you can see a lot of my influences in life were wrestling, music, video games. Hence why I did my video game music podcast I just did. TG16, you got to check it out. A turbo-boosted VGM show. Ooh, yeah! Woo! Right? All those years, you know, playing video games, I used to watch a lot of Mandarin films with my friends. And that's, you know, have some beers, laugh. And then here I am. Finally, I joined martial arts, and I'm, I just work hard every day with my team. My team makes me better literally every single day. I'm just there to just try to encourage them along the way because what they do is they encourage me. And that's who I am. I know that sometimes I come off as a loud mouth and sometimes I can be a jerk. I have a whole skit for that. Things that make me a jerk. But that's just more of play. That's supposed to be more fun. That's like a skit. It's a comedy skit. It's just put out there. Yes, it can be vulgar. I can say a lot of F-bombs and things like that. But I'm really just throwing it out there to get something off my chest that I notice happens to a lot of people when you talk to people, you know, and you say like, well, this guy pulls out in front of me and stuff like that. I just try to like bring that to normalcy, you know, so that you, you out there know as a listener that you're not the only one. But man, wrestling has been great. And I also try to like sprinkle in. So if you listen to my hometown series, I had a bunch of, you know, friends and people that I met along the way. A lot of interviews. I did a lot of interviews this year. That was crazy. But I had fun doing it because you get to meet people and you get to see ones. Like I've done two inter I did two interviews this year with Alex. Well, I'd say the first one was an interview. The second one, we talked about the NHL tr trade deadline and of course video game music. And since then I've been on his podcast, a VGM journey. So that's really awesome. Thank you, Messenger. And you know, just being associated with everybody in that the vgm journey discord which has inspired me because of course i have lost my brother and i have lost a friend and a sensei so to fill those voids i need other things in in life that you know because my brother was a huge part of my gaming life and of course my sensei and the smiles and the talking and just being able to you know anytime we were out doing it like an, an event or a charity you know share a couple beers together and just tell good times and he talked a lot about gaming that's jose jose he was just a great dude and my brother tom was just you know somebody like i said i i grew up to with him and he was you know truck driving all the time so we didn't get to play a lot of video games together and i think you know you can't say that you went back and say well you could change that now because i had mentioned him getting a switch for a long time and it just was something he couldn't do on the road unfortunately so you know talking to him texting him and uh dropping songs every once in a while with him was a really cool thing and so that's who I am as a person. I know that sometimes, again, I do come off cocky and arrogant. So this whole podcast is about who me and I don't want to, you know, turn you off as a listener or away from Dr. Roto. Cause really when it comes down to Dr. Roto and the podcast I do and being the hit podcast, you know, the guy who calls out people and says things like I'm in the Scott fishbowl right now, the predator vision. And a couple of the guys went and listened to my podcast about the Scott Fish Bowl. And then one guy goes, I think you roasted everybody. <laughs> that means my job is done. The pain. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm not going to be quiet. My mom didn't raise me that way, you know? And she said, always speak your mind, whether it gets you fired or not. At least, you know, you stuck up for yourself. So many people 
bite their tongues at their jobs or anything like that. And you know, sometimes work is hard and 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 it's not something you want to do, but that's why my commitment is to all of you, my pain bringers, the people who listen. You know, every one of those articles, I just had another article drop yesterday. That was my LA Ram preview and Dr. Roto's Philadelphia Eagle preview dropped today. And this is huge for fantasy football. This is huge because it's teaching people that these are the players you're going to want to see. Because when you're in a draft and you start getting lost and you only have a minute to pick, you're going to make a bad pick. But if you've done a few mock drafts and you've read a few articles from a site, then you're going to be fine. And I'm not talking about, look, don't go buy a magazine unless it's a good magazine. But don't go buy a magazine that's dated April, right? People, it's not up to date. There's people that may have retired. Like I said in previous podcasts, I seen Andrew Luck pick and one pick later he retired and it felt so bad that they went back and they gave, they took Andrew Luck from his team and he did it. But I was like, Hey, we're putting money up. And that was, you know, I seen Sam Bradford drafted and then he broke, he tore his ACL literally later that draft. So when you think about that and you li- listen to the podcast, like why do you need a DFS service or why do I need bring the pain? What does bring the pain do for me? Well, on a sports side of things, betting side and DFS side, if you go check all of my an ultra contrarian podcasts last year, you'll see that I was over 80, 90% on DraftKings, and I was, you know, the lower, maybe 85, 80 on FanDuel. Like I literally hit every cash lineup all year long. I gave you the macho pick of the week. The macho pick of the week definitely worked in to the ultra contrarian lineup. And I made those lineups. There was multiple weeks that that lineup was the same on both sites. And even through the playoffs, like all the way up to the Super Bowl, every single lineup I gave out scored, almost scored, or literally was there. And that to me is the genius in the DFS. And that, and that's not just for me. That's just me. That doesn't include Doc's visionaries. That doesn't include when Trevor chimes in. That doesn't include when Cam chimes in, Danger chimes in, you know, Chris chimes in, et cetera. You know, Eric, Mike, Al. I mean, golf is hitting right now. We just had another at the turn podcast just come out right now. Like these articles help. That is why you need a DFS service. And that is what Bring the Pain can do for you. But also Bring the Pain can help you spiritually. It can help you with things that make you a jerk and get you through those rough times and know that some there's other people out there like that, like you, you, the pain bringer. Yeah, right? And at the same time, I also want you to understand that I'm here for you. That's why I do the VGM podcast. That's why I do musical podcasts. That's why I do gaming on Twitch. You can join me there. You can look, check out my game. You can see me get those kills in Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront two years ago. Making bombastic, you know, if you ever, if you stay bombastic, since Australian dude, he's really cool. He does a lot of Star Wars work and just gets a lot of notoriety, but he's funny. I made his kills of the week a few times, you know, so I take that as respect, respect that, you know, when you do that, you game, you have music, you podcast, you want to live, even my other, my interview podcast, you know, it was more than just hanging out with my friends. Like I said, when I did my podcast with Margaris, that was meeting him for the first time. I'd already met Chris, the o- the owner and the chief roaster of Negus Charm Coffee. That just got a review from Mike, my buddy DJ Magic Mike. Mike, I know him as Mike. Today, he literally said, he said, hey, that coffee was great. And that's good because I can pass that along to Chris. I did that. I didn't know that he got together. He was, a you know, he did missionary work and that he got to meet a lot of these people that he buys these beans from. And that means more to him. And that lets him know that he's support, supporting those villages, if it's even considered a village. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to show you with Bring the Pain. I'm trying to give you everything. When Germany went out, like I said earlier, and I gave Germany a whole thank you episode, I want you to know that I am watching all of you. I'm watching your numbers. I'm seeing where you come. And I want to thank you. That's why, you know, having a decent support in Erie, that allows me to do that hometown series, to show people in this town that there are other people out there. Now we got this 40 under 40 thing. And right now we got the faces of Erie thing going on. And that's cool. That's fine and dandy. But for me, I want to get to know the person 
I just don't want them to say one quote. I mean, Faces of Erie could see that. And my quote would, as you know, we always remember to bring the pain to the competition, whatever your competition is like. And that's where point fighting has really helped me. It's really helped me be able to, again, go back to that teamwork and that time that I get to spend with my daughter there, not as only just her father, but as an underseer. She's a higher belt than me. And as a, you know, as somebody who's pushing me to work harder, because that's what she does. You know, she trains me. She also trains me. She exploits my weaknesses. She makes me better. And as she gets bigger and she's already faster and I'm just getting older, don't matter how much fat, how much, how much weight I drop for that. This is just an age thing, right? So that is who I am. That's me as a person. So sometimes a lot of it does pour out into the podcast. Sometimes I hit the macho man. It gets a little weird, huh? When I have to talk to so the macho man, yeah. And there's that macho man again. <laughs> when I do things like that, I do it to be different than anybody. That's my whole take in life. There's a reason why I liked Spice One growing up rather than any other rappers. You know, I love Tupac. Yeah. He's like one of my, se- he's like my second favorite rapper ever. But growing up, it was always Spice One for me. Right. And right now it's Locksmith. It's Locksmith. Everything I listen to is Locksmith, man. His new album, man, is just amazing. And for me, that's who I am. That's me as a person. That's me and what I try to give to all of you. And that's why Bring the Pain is more than just sports, more than just VGM, more than just me railing off and being a jerk, more than just saying thank you. I do it because I love to. And it's the thing in my life that has brought so many of my passions together. And I hope that you can all see that now, thinking about that going forward as we go into football season, because all of my podcasts are going to be football driven now, right? I have one that I have to bring out that I'm going to do one for the Rams. And I also have to do a draft article that I just did for a mock draft. So again, you're getting a lot of content and that is just me at drrodo.com. We literally have articles, multiple, multiple more articles dropping all day long. And then the subs only discord. We're sitting in there helping people live during a draft. I literally helped this guy when he was like, Hey, I got this right now. Yeah, it's a couple picks up to me, but I know that a few of these players out and bam, we got those players for him. That's what we do it at Dr. Roto. And I know other people do the same thing, but the thing is, is you have to always figure out who's best for you. And that's what we got. If you're just, if you listen to doc and doc is your guy, then you're going to want to listen to his podcast, you want to be in there Sunday mornings and ask him who to start at the subs only discord level. If that's where you want to be and you want to get that, and you want to talk to me about IDP because I'm your IDP hero. Yeah. Right. That's what it is. But always remember, we do this for you at Dr. Roto. When we go to a tournament at TKO Erie, we fight as a team. When we train together, we train as a team. Nobody takes their gloves off early. In life, in sports, it's always about team. And that's what I want to be for you. It's just not one podcast stuck in one lane. It's a podcast that can do everything. Ooh, yeah. Have a great day, everybody. And always remember to bring the pain. Yeah.